I think all too often we become narrow vision, which from a certain point of view can be massive, but no less narrowed. It could be mankind has made these religions and spirit stories of demons, ghosts, and gods because we do not want to face the hard, cold reality. We are alone, adrift, and sanctioned off from all others in the universe. Our species has known this almost from the beginning, and the horror of that reality is so great, it is why we cannot remember our origins, our beginnings, where we came from, and who made us. Our species became anesthetist, administrating to ourselves our own individual formula to cause us to forget, and the cycle stops once you leave this earth because there is nothing else after this. But we cannot face that fact, so we invent our stories of a life greater and more peaceful than this one that we had here. Even hell is still life after death and better than there to be nothing after this. I wrote that. And it's another point of view. We've all been conditioned for most of us, not all, but for the most, that we all believe that there is going to be a life after this. The problem is, is that it's been constructed within the confines of a very limited, narrow way of thinking. This video may be considered to be depressing to some, to others, it will enlighten us all in understanding the alternatives that may, in fact, await us all. I hope you enjoy it. Leave me your comments. The title of this video is The Other Reality. That other reality that no one talks about, no one wants to believe, but a few brave, adventurous, may be realist, that there is an other reality awaiting us. You see, we all came from the nothingness. In fact, if you want to say that time itself is from the nothingness, you'd be right. Alan Watts, my mentor, wrote, we are living in a culture entirely hypnotized by the illusion of time, in which the so-called present moment is felt as nothing but an infinitesimal hairline between a causative past and an absorbingly important future. We have no present. Our consciousness is almost completely preoccupied with memory and expectation. We do not realize that there never was, is, nor will be any other experience other than the present experience. We are therefore out of touch with reality. Think about it. How much of your time is spent on memorizing memories or anticipating the future? You see, folks, the other nothingness is where everything comes from. You, me. Everything, everything comes from the nothingness. It very well could and should be said, God is nothingness. 
If the very concept of God can be accepted, then God is nothingness. All numbers begin and end with zero. The NewScientist.com has the article on that. Nothingness. Mathematics starts with an empty set. What's inside an empty bag? Nothing. But that's something on which all mathematics is founded. All what your life is, is nothing more than a one little blip. You make an explosion of photons, energy, and light, and then you're gone. Gone. Maybe someone might remember you, maybe not, but you are gone. You see, there was only one door of light, and you and I already walked through it. We're living it right now. There's not another one waiting. This is all of us. There is. No one else, just you. This is your condition when you were born. This is going to be your condition when you die. You will be alone. No one's going to be there to guide you, to help you, to rescue you. You are only going to be you. And try as you will, there is nothing to see. You can search up you can search down, you can search all around, but all you are going to see is nothing. You see, you are probably perceiving this as the greatest horror story, but actually it's not. It's the greatest liberating story. There's no heaven, there's no hell, there's no afterlife you're going to go back to exactly what you were and are, nothing. Now, nothing is more fertile than emptiness. Are you seeing? Are you understanding? You see, nothingness is where everything begins and ends. Remember, nothingness is not emptiness. You yourself are the eternal energy which appears as this universe. You didn't come into this world, you came out of it, like a wave from an ocean. Alan Watts again. Consider an alternative to that which you perceive. Nothingness is going to be that warm embrace. It's where we came from. It's where we're all going back to.